Roaring Twenties, an era filled with new cultural dynamics. Jazz music became very popular among mass populations due to the expanding of radio stations. It tended to be played by minorities, with new artists such as Louis Armstrong, jazz was on its way to becoming the music of the era. Women's rights flourished during this decade, with the passing of the 19th Amendment and the new outlook that women had on life. As headlines rose, the flapper became the image of the common 1920s women, strong and independent. However, by the late 1920s, the automobile had firmly established itself as the newest and most popular modern invention. Ford's Model T is generally regarded as the first affordable car. This was because of Ford's innovations, including assembly line production instead of individual handcrafting. By 1914, the assembly process for the Model T had been so efficient it took only 93 minutes to assemble a car. That year, Ford produced more cars than all other automakers combined. The Model T was a great commercial success, and by the time Henry Ford made his 10 millionth car, 10% of all cars in the entire world were Fords. In fact, it was so successful that Ford did not purchase any advertising between 1917 and 1923. In total, more than 15 million Model Ts were manufactured, more than any other model of its day. Owning a car was a big deal to a family. The car allowed people to travel up to 10 times faster than carriage or horseback. Because of this, a ride in the family Ford was more than just an outing, it was a vacation. Motels and other facilities sprang up to service the needs of traveling motorists. The adaptations to cars had not yet been made in the surrounding cities, and especially in rural areas. Roads that had been designed for horse transportation began to deteriorate under the steadily increasing loads of traffic. Roads had to be redesigned and rebuilt to accommodate the automobile. Another invention that became more efficient in the 1920s was the airplane. The idea of the airplane was never taken seriously until the federal government developed the concept of airmail. This idea of using airplanes to transport mail quickly cut on. Instead of receiving long-distance mail in a few weeks, one could receive it in only a few days. Airmail became a success. As it grew more popular, other industries began turning to the airplane as a form of freighting that was much faster than land-based transportation. Due to this, the airplane quickly became an integrated part of American business during the 1920s. After using airplanes to transport freight, became common. The idea of airplanes carrying people quickly took hold. A few airplane companies began to offer flight services to people, however, for a high price. Usually it was fairly costly and only upper class men and women could afford it. But as flights became more widespread, prices fell and middle class citizens could finally afford to fly from one place to another. Although the airplane did not catch on as quickly as other inventions of the 1920s, it became a very important part in American culture. During the 20s, many people began to do airplane stunts and tricks to entertain themselves and others. Some people would even climb onto an airplane's wings and dance the Charleston or try flying around in circles for a whole day. Airplane fads even managed to produce an American hero, Charles A. Lindbergh. He was the first person to cross the Atlantic Ocean by himself in an airplane. The success of the airplane in the 1920s surely makes it one of the most important inventions of the century.